Are you high on discussing our today's series? Oh, yes. I think out of all series we have discussed so far, this one is my favorite. Well, that makes two of us. Let's start. Welcome to Netflix on English. Hello, everyone. This is the Netflix on English podcast. I'm Gary. And I'm Leo. And together we Netflix on English. Or in other words, talk about the vocabulary from the latest film and series on streaming platforms. In each episode, we tell you a story of main characters from a series or a film using just a few key expressions from it. And today we talk about Hollywood, a glossy drama series about Hollywood in the years after the Second World War. Ah, the late 1940s, the era of glitz and glamour in the American film industry. Also the era of racism and discrimination. So in 1947, a young veteran, Jack Costello, moves to Hollywood, hoping to make a career in pictures. Pictures, or motion pictures, men's films or movies. Apparently, everybody who comes to Hollywood wants to make it in pictures. Oh, and why wouldn't they? If you make it in pictures and become a film star, you can live in Beverly Hills, have a large house with a pool and go to the fanciest parties. You know, I wouldn't mind to make it in pictures myself. I'm afraid for that you would have to have something more than an inflated ego. Anyhow, Jack also wants to make it in pictures because he is an aspiring actor. Aspiring means someone who hopes to be successful in a particular career. Gary and I, for example, are aspiring podcast hosts. Oh yes, we aspire to be the next Larry King or Graham Norton. Hey, let's start the show! <laughs> Although now, we're more like Pinky and the Brain. What are we going to do tomorrow? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Anyhow, Jack, like many other aspiring actors, hopes to get a role as an extra. That's how most actors start their film careers. An extra is a person in the film who doesn't play an important role, like a member of a crowd. Jack hopes to play an extra in a picture produced by A Studios, a major film production company. However, it looks like Jack doesn't have what it takes to act in films. Oh, you have training? Well, sure. Fort Benning, Georgia. Mm, I mean acting training. You got any of that? Well, no. A looking kid like you, you think you just got to show up and poof, you're a movie star, huh? Well, that ain't how it works. Pretty face, but no training. <laughs> kid, you're a dime a dozen. All right. So Jack has a pretty face, but no acting training. He's a dime a dozen. If you are a dime a dozen, it means that you are ordinary and not special. Aspiring actors in Hollywood are always a dime a dozen. Uh, are we also a dime a dozen, Gary? Well, I don't think English-speaking podcast hosts are a dime a dozen in Russia. Fair enough. So even though Jack wants to become a film star, he still needs a full-time job. That's right. After all, he has a pregnant wife at home. So he starts working at a gas station called Golden Tip Gasoline, just to make ends meet. When you make ends meet, it means that you have just enough money to pay for the things that you need. I bet it's hard to make ends meet if you only provide simple car services. However, Jack makes extra money by providing extra services. That is, he takes female clients to dreamland, or in other words, sleeps with them. Exactly. And that's how he meets the casting director of Ace Studios. Oh, what a small world. Thanks to the extra services Jack provides for the casting director, he gets a screen test at A Studios. When an actor does a screen test, it means that he or she performs a short scene in front of the cameras. Film studios give an actor a screen test to see how good he or she would be in films. Let's see what the studio thought of Jack's screen test. We watched your screen test and it was terrible. But I like your look. And with some training, you might have something. So, Ace would like to put you on contract. $25 a week. You're kidding me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Miss Kincaid. Aha. Uh -huh. So Jack's screen test was terrible. But the studio thinks that with some training, he might do well. So they put him on contract. What a lucky devil. Soon, Jack gets a screen test for a new motion picture, Meg, produced by A Studios. And thanks to the extra service he provides for Avis Amberg, the new head of A Studios, Jack is cast in the lead role in Meg. That's right. The studio finally casts him, or in other words, chooses him to play a part in a film. Jack Casella's dream has finally come true. He's cast in the lead role in the major motion picture. 
However, it is not certain if he becomes a real film star. After all, the release of Meg in the film theaters is at serious risk. Well, let's not lay all our cards on the table, but rather recap the vocabulary. Okay. A picture or motion picture is another word for a film or a movie. Aspiring means someone who hopes to be successful in a particular career, like acting or writing. An extra is a person who doesn't play an important role in a film, like a member of a crowd. If you are a dime a dozen, it means that you aren't special. When you make ends meet, it means that you have just enough money to pay for the things that you need. When an actor gets screen tested, it means that they play short scenes in front of the cameras, so film studios can see how well they will perform in films. And if they see that you perform well, a studio might cast you or choose you to play in a film. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast to hear us Netflixing on English from other series. That's all for now. So from Leo and Gary, thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye.